good morning and just carrying on. I got a little head start and added um, added green. And I'm not sure which one is better. Uh, pretty sure this one is straight out of the bottle. And I, I think this is a, a nice alcohol uh, wash from the, uh, from the same bottle. start over. Uh, hi, I'm Derek, and uh, we're painting up these beautiful guys, these heroic little guys. Oh, they're, they're, they're representative of, of some uh, historical people, and I'm just applying a, um, a very thin wash of green to these guys and I'm trying to get into the habit of uh, painting the areas I can reach he, I think he, he is a communications officer he's got a radio and I want all their uniforms to be slightly different tones even though they would look really good if they were all exactly the same. And, you know, that's what most uh, master modelers would do. I'm not a master model. I enjoy my hobby. But I'm going to try to make everyone a little bit different. That's the advice I got on the internet. And it suits my style. Because of the caustic nature of their laundry services and the different quality of manufacturing that went into the uniforms. So, quite a lot of variation, uh, which will be fun to do, you know. You can add some yellows randomly, a few other colors. It'll just be something to enjoy, I think. So here is our communications officer. And I'm gonna do a little bit more research on, um, well, basically a place that, or an incident that has some really interesting terrain and, um, <clears throat> you know, a train. Because um, I think that is this, these guys' ultimate destiny is um, being part of a train set. Because that's, that's my uh, midlife crisis thing is model trains. Um, I thought that that would be cooler than a convertible. So far, so good. I have some background music going from the, the uh, from my fan game. I'm not sure how much anyone can hear it. But it's just a guess. And uh, I'm very excited about about big soccer game today. And the nice thing about this alcohol, uh, very thin alcohol wash the, that I'm using is it, um, it dissolves and blends the anything you wash over it that already has some pigment. So um, the more I scrape against, say, those two little bags, 
the the more <clears throat> uh, the more blending it'll do. I think that's a hand. Yeah, we're gonna call it a hand and paint it green for a little while. A lot of these guys have uh, have gloves. I I recommend gloves, especially if you're going through brambles or, or doing any you know kind of like heavy handwork. See, like this, this right here on the radio person's uh, uniform, where the flesh pigment has gotten on his uh, his sleeve a bit. But uh, I feel it adds a nice highlight, and I'll do something to, you know, take the red out or uh, whatever. And. Uh, Find some more color photos of these guys. Same with here. I think that that uh, gives it a nice little fake highlight. A little bit of variation in the uniform. Even though, you know, <clears throat> it's called a uniform for a reason. And that's all I have to say about weird, you know, cat ears on helmets and stuff in certain video games. But, you know. As long as people are having fun, I I have a thing for cat ears, so I I you know just no comment on that one. Here we go. And uh, you know I, I think this dude here is my commander. I'm not 100 certain on that, but he seems to be giving some orders. And uh, very soon I'm I'm excited to. Here's a good point where that... What was I going to talk about? I don't know. I'm a little distracted to this game, but... See how that... The alcohol wash just sort of eliminates that hard seam we had there. And, you know, I can do the same there, but that's too wet. Yeah. There we go. That's okay. You know, you're just making it worse now, you know? Er, 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 there we go. Er. We're just looking around for the spots that we may have missed. And maybe a little bit... Uh, on his, I don't know if you can see it, but let's see if we can just blend his, nope, that uh, brown on his elbow is just going to be too much, okay, seven minutes, all right, I think uh, we can do all of the metal highlights on the guns in just a minute, and uh, let's see, on a tiny brush, it isn't very good, but isn't totally crap either, which, um, mm, this is actually my new favorite brush, so I think it's going to be this guy. Now, my, um, bright brushing, no, the bry, the, uh, dry brushing technique that I've used since high school is really 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 awful for brushes so all right let's see if we get most of the pigment off and eh, eh, not, not great okay let's see what we can do get a bit in there a little bit let's see if we can huh that's not bad now we can only get that bit over there by his face Easily get the angle right. And shh, shh, shh. got too much on here, but these guys will get. See, yeah, he looks almost perfect. Is it metal? It is now. Teen, maybe? Do 
I mean, tiniest, the tiniest bit of pigment. And everybody, let's see if we can cover up some of that. That fish he's got on him, it's not bad. And then overall, pretty happy. Eventually, um, I would like to have a crowd effect. Uh, for the train set and print up most of my own uh, so they can get a little more specific and I'll find some some nice photo references and let me just get that out there. they all look very happy we will uh, Very quick and dirty. See if that has the effect that we wanted. Not quite. Anyway, go Sounders. I hope everyone has uh, a great day. Thanks. Thanks for bearing with me. Appreciate everyone's patience. And uh, all right. Good night, guys. Well. Uh, We'll see you later.